Good morning from Canyonlands National Park. We left you guys last night at our campsite. Had a little bit of technical difficulties there last night. Our generator stopped working, so it was quite hot. But we got up early this morning and we are inside Canyonlands now. We're gonna do more or less a driving, hiking tour today just because it is July in Utah and it's quite hot. So we're gonna see what we can see along the way. We got a map at the visitor center that has quite a few places that you can stop off and do shorter hikes. A little bit more about Canyonlands. Canyonlands is actually split up into three different districts. You have the Island in the Sky district, which is where we are today. This is the most popular, the closest to Moab. Then you have the Needles district, which is south of Moab. And then you have the Maze. The Maze is the most rugged district. You need a four-wheel drive to get there. It's very remote, um, not very visited. So like I said, today we're in Island of the Sky. We are actually headed out to the Grand Viewpoint, which is the furthest spot. That's where we're gonna start. Can't wait to show you guys around and I'll see you in a bit. The Grand Viewpoint lies at the southernmost end of the Island in the Sky District. A short paved sidewalk leads to a spectacular viewpoint, perfect for strollers and wheelchairs. On the day we went, a ranger was actually presenting a geology talk, which they typically do spring through fall. Okay, so we just made it to Grand Viewpoint. We are gonna do the 1.8 mile out and back hike alongside the rim. It's supposed to be a pretty easy trail. The views obviously are incredible. We're here at about 10 o'clock in July and it's already probably mid 80s. So go early. This hike is a beautiful out and back trail with stunning views since you spend a good portion of the hike walking along the canyon edge. From here you can see across miles of canyons, the white rim four wheel drive road, and different features that are part of the maze and the needles district. This trail can be rough, uneven, and requires walking up and down a rocky hill and stone steps, but it's still considered an easy hike. Took a stop for a little snack break here in the shade. You guys too. Shade is kind of hard to come by out here, but we found a good spot right at the end under some rocks to eat a snack and enjoy the view. Had a little chipmunk friend that's coming to try and join us, but remember guys, you're not supposed to feed them no matter how cute they are. So this was an easy hike, but you know, the sun in July definitely made it a little bit more challenging or sweaty, I guess you could say. But like I said, we're taking a quick break and then we'll head back to the car and on to the next little viewpoint. It'll, I think it's either gonna be Green River or Mesa Arch. Just gonna get out and look around for a second. This is not actually a hike. 
and then we'll do Mesa Arch last. Mesa Arch is actually the only place we went to when we came to Canyonlands back when Sophie was about a year old. One year old. And we went at sunrise, which is amazing. So now we'll get to see it during the day. But that'll probably end our time here in Canyonlands. Like I said, it's just way too hot. Um, if you come in July, you have to come at sunrise or sunset. You cannot come in the middle of the day. It's just unbearable. But we're making the best of it. And it is truly beautiful. And thankfully, Canyonlands is very driving friendly. So you can just drive and get out and look at all the pretty views without actually having to do many of the hikes. Well, you're about to find out. Well, you're gonna see this place and it's called Green Rivers. My goodness. Oh, it's Green Rivers, you wanna see? Only if you can see. As you saw in the beginning of the video, Canyonlands is separated by two mighty rivers, the Green River and the Colorado River. We headed over to the Green River Overlook to take in the views. 1,300 feet below, you can see the Green River in all of its glory. This is actually one of the best areas in the park to watch the sunset. All right, we are at our last stop here in Canyonlands, the famous Mesa Arch. It's a short 0.3 mile walk to get there. Pretty simple from the parking lot, just go up this hill and then down on the other side. This is the most popular spot to come at sunrise. Even if you think you're gonna be here early at like 5 a.m., you'll be greeted with tons of other photographers. We know because we've done it. So this year we opted just to see it during the day. So we are finally at Mesa Arch, our last stop in Canyonlands. We are gonna go into the city after this and we are already coming up to the arch. All right, here we go. We're at our last stop in Canyonlands. This is the famous Mesa Arch. We were here six years ago, like I said, when Sophie was a baby. It's really cool to be here during the day because you can really see the landscape. I'm always surprised by how deep it actually goes down, like immediately after the arch. I think a lot of pictures don't really show that. Like I mentioned earlier, best time of day to come here to really see the arch glowing is first thing in the morning. We did that six years ago, we opted not to do that today. So it's fun to be here right around lunchtime and check out the views. On our way out of the park, we made sure to stop at the visitor center to drop off Sophie's Junior Ranger booklet. We take advantage of this free activity at every national park and we have so many badges and patches that we've collected over the years. Once again, thank you guys for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Da ist er ja der Schisser. <lacht>